Advice, some ill entertainment, industry insight. Listen, it's like sitting, building up on the yard. HU, the bison chats, the vanguard. HU, you know. Hey, welcome back to the yard, aka the bison chats. My name is Rod E. Miller, graduate of Howard University. Usually, we are bison interviewing bison in the entertainment industry. Uh, this week is going to be our second wrap-up show. Um, this show is in association with the Kelly R. Griffin Bison Project from Howard to Hollywood. Hey, December 10th? Man, I hope you're holding your scripts. You better you better be sitting up and burning burning the midnight oil. Get your scripts ready. Get them in. I thought you were about to say burning something else. No, now you see yeah. that. Wow. Now, now you see that? <laughs> I'm sorry. Just the implications of that. It's like, right? I, well, who am I? Who am I? Who am I, Kelly? It's about to be legal in L.A., so, oh, you know, I thought you were just well, burning like, and writing, writing and burning. Good. <laughs> A feature film project, again, <laughs> will be written, produced, directed, and starring H.U. Bison. Um, as usual, if we say bison, there's the bison drinking game. <laughs> Take a shot. Get your favorite alcoholic beverage next to you. Not juice, not water, not milk, not chai tea. Alcohol. <laughs> bison, bison, bison. I am talking to Kelly and Stacy. Our illustrious executive producers. We're going to recap. Hello. <laughs> so, yeah, this is our recap show. Let's bring it home. Bring it home. Recap show. First up, who are we talking about? We talk, we, 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 our last, we talked to Carla Renata, Kevin Grievous. Deny, Deny Ma- Ferrari. Ferrari. <laughs> Remember Ferrari? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Pronounced Ferrari. Yeah, that, 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 was, that was pretty interesting. Yes, That's right. Yeah. Lena Thomas. And- Kevin Grievous. My attorney, Julian Petty, that I don't know. <laughs> that is so mean. Marcus Why, why would you do that, Yes, Mark? I know. That's funny. <laughs> Emotep Coleman. Tip! He was the only uh, non-lawyer, producer, writer, right, actor. He was our gladiator. He was our first crew person. Yes. Yeah, he was our... Right. Tip! Saw you on the set of Scandal. Ha ha! <laughs> <laughs> I, wasn't, I was not supposed to be there, but... Never mind. That's just, that's not oh, important. But he just uh, used your name. It was he just fine. Used your name. And he got on got on set. <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, no, deny was one. Of Wait before better, you, before you well, talk about deny because I do want to you mention the Howard Homecoming. Don't deny. Oh Howard Homecoming. Yeah, home, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Howard Homecoming this year might have been the home. I mean, you always hear you need to go to Howard Homecoming. Right. right. But this year, I oh, haven't gone. Oh, I haven't gone to Howard. I haven't Last been to I was a Homecoming. Howard. What? I, I know. Stacy goes. I go. First of all, Stacy and, and some people shoe. we graduated with. My, I think they're reliving their youth because they go every day no, here. It's homecoming. My, bro- <laughs> my brother drives up from North Carolina every year. Are you serious? There, and this was the wait. First did he graduate year. from Howard though? Well, yeah. Oh, I thought he was. <laughs> I didn't know he just go. Hey, we've had a lot of people have uh, siblings. Uh, okay. Wait, wait, I was <laughs> say. I wonder if Julian's brother went to yeah, Howard right. homecoming. <laughs> he might have. Julius' brother gets it right. Yeah. <laughs> when did you graduate? I didn't. I didn't. Um, but I lived here, though. I lived here. And I'm in the yearbook. And I'm in the yearbook. How, how do you, how, but we're skipping. We're skipping. I'm not, so, I'm no, not. but I really want to know that that swaying thing that, that was we're doing, I kept seeing going that was around. The, that was the yard fest. That That is something that has developed over the years. While we were there, it was just Friday. Right, and right, now right. they just organized Friday they into it. it, 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 it they just... They, they, yeah, like last year, I think they had an issue with putting up fences around the yard, and ch- they were trying to charge people to get on the yard. What? Yeah. Are you serious? To get yeah. on the yard? They would charge to get on main campus. That's how black people. Yes. It's gonna be a fee. They would. Yes, okay. I'm not lying. They had char- They would put up. They had put fences okay, up Howard. and charge. And I'm sure we just knocked the fences. Just down. stop it. And uh, that's why I <laughs> think. <laughs> which is why there were no fences this year. Like, really? Why would you do something like that's that? Crazy. But you know, you gotta. Remember, I think when they brought that whole. I think one year they had Drake. I mean. This has been that that yard on Friday now. I don't even know they should cancel classes. Wow. I mean, not to say that we. I don't didn't. think I. I don't think I had classes. I think I scheduled it so I wouldn't have classes. 
Fridays at I noon. I was never able to do that. Oh, my I, God. Who, how did, who are you? How did you no, do I that? No, I think I did. I to schedule classes not on Friday? I remember telling other people that came behind me, like, don't schedule classes on Monday, Friday. Monday, Wednesday, noon. Fridays, Tuesday, Thursday. Unless all Tuesday, Thursday class. You had all Tuesday, Thursday class. I don't know. I can't remember. I don't okay. I just I, but it I, was, I saw a lot of step shows and a lot of stuff on Fridays. I remember. I, I did too. I just missed but class. I, just missed <laughs> <class>. <laughs> I did too. I just missed class. Right. See, I ain't missed class. That's okay. what I'm saying. I must right. have had now, class. Kelly, I didn't miss class. Really? Right. Come on, Sorry. Kelly. Mm-hmm. You, you haven't you didn't cut I gotta ask. You didn't cut one class. I don't think I've ever cut a class. What? My, Kelly. I don't think so. Seriously. I my really, freshman year. I really want to get into these people, no, but don't say this to me. <laughs> I don't think I have. I, hey, my memory sucks. I ain't going to lie. That my memory yeah. sucks. I'm not lying. I got to remind who I am so, every week. <laughs> whatever. Never. But I know freshman year, I got in a lot of trouble for doing crazy stuff. I think we, did we like hmm? trash Drew Hall and do other shit? Like we did stuff that I got in trouble for. No. Trash. But I don't think I, she said no. You trash. <laughs> Stacey Alfonso I don't think, <laughs> was not there. I don't think I, <laughs> I don't think I cut class. Sophomore year, I think I made Dean's list. Sophomore year, I don't think I cut class. What? I don't recall. I made the other list. <laughs> I love this shit. If this was high school, I, we were talking about, I'd understand. But right? you said, I did not cut at Harvard. I don't remember. I really don't think I cut this class. This is the greatest revelation in the history of the Bison Chess that someone said, I, I never cut class at Howard. No. No, no, she says she be- doesn't remember. Said, that, okay, is, that is the key. No, there no, no, go. but there's some people like, I think Nikita Adams, Julian Petty. Oh, uh, yeah, because. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. somebody else said they never skipped school I either. Uh, Adia, remember. I think Adia. They went to class all the time, too. Why can't I be like them? No, yeah. they, they, they cut class. Don't believe that. Look, <laughs> yeah. I don't, look, I don't remember freshman year getting drunk after the first win against Norfolk State and sleeping on top of the library. And again, he but- doesn't remember. <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> it happens. Wait, wait. You slept on top of the library? Is that what you just said? Well, yeah, it's easy to walk on. T- Remember, you can walk on top of the library because you had to walk down right. to the library. Right. So you, I slept on top of the library where the benches are, right? The rooftop. But why did you just go back to your room? Because you were just too drunk to go back to your room? If he could have remembered. If I could have remembered, <laughs> I would have said, I, ran, I would have rather slept on my bed. Right. <laughs> but right. I slept on a bench. Right. <laughs> and the sun He had the up. quad right across the hall. <laughs> he could have gone there. <laughs> yes. Okay. So yeah, so we, uh, okay. Now we all all, right. all our now, demons are out. Deny, right. <laughs> so uh, De- Deny's podcast was powerful. It was. I, I don't. I, I think they're all awesome. I don't want to mm-hmm. say hers was the best or anything like that, but hers was so inspiring. It, it was. Succinct. It was like going to church, yeah. and then it. I think we recorded that one right after the Dallas police shooting. I felt like Maya Angelou. <laughs> <laughs> And still, I ride. Mandela accent. Hey, I was going to say, you say Maya, but you sound like Nelson. Nelson. Or Desmond. I had a butterfinger and I rode. I... My bosom I was know. full. I made us all at one point be like, damn. And I'm doing Where this have I in my life. In life? Right. Like, I have really slipped in life. Like, wow. I, have I must not, not want it bad I enough. I not want it bad enough. Wow. I really got to do some reevaluating when I go home after this, did I? Man. I, I did. I was like, wow. Like, yeah. really? She did. She No, it was really, really, really great. It, it was. It was just really great and inspiring. And then she... Uh, what is that? The connection she made with the book, The Four Agreements, without even knowing yeah, it? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, good stuff, good stuff tonight. And then, too, I mean, some of the points that she made, we also started to hear a little bit later. She said, today's assistance is tomorrow's executives or VPs or something like that. Yeah. That True. was so powerful and important. And then she said, another thing is, the one thing that is consistent about this business is rejection. And to learn how to deal with it. That is true, too. No. Look. <laughs> <laughs> it is. I was like, wait. What? No. What? <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah. And we're okay with that. I'm not saying that we see that. Yeah, that was a great point. She did say that. She said, how, where did you fail today? Yeah, yeah, I love that. I actually tried it on my daughter the other day. She said, what is wrong with you? Ah. <laughs> hey, how do you feel about that fail there? Right? I, mean, I was like, I failed. I, I failed. You said trying- that to her and she was like, yeah, whatever, dad. Yeah. It was after I listened to her podcast again. I said, hmm, I'm going to take that into my life. And I, I tried it with my daughter, Ryan. And she said, oh, yeah. I don't know what you're talking about, dad. But, well, I got a 50 on my chemistry test. How about that? 
Yeah. <laughs> I was like, really? Oh, oh, oh that's nice, dude. That's nice. <laughs> 50. Oh. Like, all right. Congratulations. Was that out of, that out of 50? No, huh? <laughs> was that? Out of 100, huh? 50 out of 50. <laughs> that's hilarious. No, but, but I mean, I did take that one to heart because I know so many times you're afraid to try things. But really, to, to do something is better than to do nothing. Even if you fail at it, you learn from it. So I thought that that was a really good point. Oh, Thanks, God, Deny. Yeah. Whatever, Deny. <laughs> well, it just make me feel oh, bad about other, my life. The other thing that she had said was that there's no such thing as an overnight success. It usually takes up to ten years. That same day, I don't know if, if that was the same day we interviewed Kevin, but he said the same thing. He didn't say the same thing, but what he had said was that he had been in the business for about nine years before things started happening, and that made me think, damn, Denai was so right on that. So that was a really good point. It's so scary, though. I know. Nine years. I mean, that's good, but it's scary. I'm on eight. I got two more. Oh, I'm sorry. You got two more what? Years in L.A. Oh, oh, oh. I thought you were like two more points you're about no, to make I about got, denying. Oh, I got like, eight wait. years in. I'm good. All right. Who was up next after deny? After the deny's powerful sermon? <laughs> oh, by the way, I'm saying the four agreements by uh, Miguel Ruiz. People should pick that up. Check it out. And then listen to Denai's podcast. And then read the book. And then listen to Denai's podcast again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, um, think up next was Carla Renata. Carla Renata. Your girl, Carla. <laughs> yeah, Carla. Um, that's one of those, I was telling somebody, somebody the other day who wanted to be an actor. And I was like, sometimes there's people been out here for like, I don't know, 10 plus years. And it could be like Sarah Jessica Parker or somebody. They could see like square pegs or doing some unknown stuff. And then when they get on a hit show, they become famous. So I said, sometimes it's not necessarily the actor or the actress being like so fucking amazing than it is they got on a hit show and the show became a hit. So they became a hit. So like the whole cast of The Office became a hit. Mm -hmm. Or the whole cast of Seinfeld or Friends or whatever. But they had done other stuff. Yeah. Right. But they right. finally landed on the show that became a hit. Now everybody knows their name. You know what I mean? So anyway, I'm saying that to say, Carla, who's a really great actress, I've been seeing her like a lot lately. And I was watching um, Superstore the other night and mm -hmm. the Life in Pieces and the other. And I'm like, she keeps working like this. She's going to end up finally, eventually, as a, as a lead on a show Absolutely. that becomes a hit. And that's what she's going to do. Right now, she's, doing, she's working, which is great. Right. And she's working a lot because I can't. Now, right, you and see now that I know lot. who she is, exactly. Because I didn't it's know who she radar. was before, but now I know who she is because you know we interviewed her. Now, like I'm watching TV, I'm like, oh, that's Carla. Like I'm mm -hmm. just flipping through channels, I see Carla, and I'm like, oh, it's coming, Carla, it's coming. Oh yeah, you she, see, she's I mean, gonna land on a hit and you show. You see old and then, stuff, and that's what's like. You're like, oh, she was in that, and right, you, right. things that you you never you never noticed. And it's like, wow, people put in time. It, it takes. It takes some time. As Carla, it, Carla made extra money. Uh, Doing Jerry curls. <laughs> that bumped me. Right. Which, wait, why it bother you? I don't know. There's a couple of people who said she contributed problem. to the curl. She contributed to that. I was like, you know, I didn't mind her holding That's down all the jobs. There were that. a couple of people who said they did hair while they were at Howard. Like why that. does she bother you? But it's because of the Jerry curls specifically? Yeah. Okay. That was funny. I had a Jerry curl. You said we call. Too. That's cool. I had but, a Jerry uh, curl when I was 13. Oh, really? I had a test. He also the respect radar right here, oh, right? And he's like, oh. nah, nah. He's like, oh, he's like, oh, really? Come on, uh. sorry, sir, I did. No, but I know you. I knew you before you told me about the Jericho. But, so, yeah. but that was funny because that was another thing that Denai had said that if she had a kid, she would tell him to either do two things: learn how to do hair, which I had told my son, but he ignored me, and or have a store out of your room where you could sell things after hours. Selling candy and sodas and stuff. Which also would have been very helpful. Just make sure we're talking about candy and sodas and stuff. Yes. <laughs> you said after hours. So after hours. You can like, sell things after soda. hours. Soda. Like, yeah, okay. You making liquor? I'm just saying. <laughs> it's a moonshine in my room. I had a oh. I had a hundred proof um am hundred proof recipe for um amaretta. It was basically about eighty proof. And I, it said 
we could sell this. <laughs> and my roommate said, no. No, we're not. No, we cannot. <coughs> no, we, we cannot that's, sell illegal. It's illegal, dude. <laughs> it's illegal. We can't do that. I said, you sure? He, he said, no, we can't I do feel that. like it's not. <laughs> I feel like it's not. The guy who stole the haagen ice cream in the big gulp cup. Oh, okay. oh, I'm wow, never going to forget that. Wow. So really? We going back funny, to that? Right? I just, every time I think about stealing, I'm thinking... Rod stole Hagen. What you're Hagen. saying is, <laughs> you go in 7 Eleven now, you're like, hmm. <laughs> that's what you're like, saying. This is really possible. <laughs> <laughs> and then the other thing was really funny when, uh, to me, was when Rod goes, You were in Lion King and just stopped. <laughs> in, yeah. For Carl. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. She was in Lion King. That's kind of like, not just Lion King. Unfortunately, she was also a puppeteer in you Avenue Q. <laughs> Is that bad? Re- Is- Dude, you have to see the play. <laughs> Carla, I respect you and respect your work. Let's be very clear. I'm just saying. It's a bunch of people walking around holding puppets. Not your hate. But don't hate. No, no hate for Emma. It's not oh, hate. Let's talk about Carla. Right. <laughs> about- Get back to Carla. <laughs> I respect Carla. <laughs> <laughs> I respect you. It's, what about the it was because Gary Coleman was in it. And <laughs> oh my God. He was a landlord. <laughs> was like, Pull it back. <laughs> okay, all right, fine. <laughs> all right, fine. Okay, good, good, good. We were all really amazed of the um, the endurance that it took for the puppetry. Stuff that she was okay, what are you doing with your hands? Look, can't nobody see you. Y'all see me. You don't know. She is on Periscope me. right now, and so are right. you, Kelly. You don't right. know. We on Periscope. See, like, right. I got hidden cameras in the, in the studio. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> the cameras in the studio. <laughs> All right, okay. go ahead. Amazed by the puppetry of no, but this all Lion the mechanics. King. Or, yeah, Lion King. Okay. Like she said, the the costume itself was thirty pounds. Yeah, I can't remember. Yeah, the way to line and go up and down the stairs, sing, coordinate the mouth. No, the head. all of that is fascinating. Right, that was just impressive. Really amazing. Avenue Q, you hold a puppet. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> she brought it back. To she brought it back. Damn, she brought it back to Avenue Q. It is like this. It is like this. <laughs> All right, fine. Sorry. I'm, I'm just talking All about right. the diversity of Carla's talent. Like, she she crosses, you know, the acting in so many different areas. Theater, television, you know, the singing. Hell, US, she did USO tour, yeah. which I was like. Really? In school. Well, I, I was really kind of like, how are you going to war zones to right, sing right. and still at Howard? That was really like. Bizarre to me. Right, she was hustling. Yeah, I was like, and you and you're going to the president's. Look, I need right, you to sign right. up on this. I'm gonna need so you to sign go, this. I can go. No, but what's funny is not just her. What didn't deny? Deny went on tour with her brothers or something like that while she was in school yeah, too. Yeah, she was hip-hop, but going <laughs> she tour. said that twi- it wasn't twice. Wasn't a long tour. I'm okay. saying to go on tour, period. Right. How you in school and then you leave and go to them? Me and Kelly barely tour. made it to Philly. <laughs> <laughs> Traveling the world, going to tour, and still coming right. back and, and graduating and graduate. I mean, I was on tour with Big Daddy Kane for a short minute. Why you were in that, at Howard? Nah, it really wasn't at all. It just sounded like something okay. cool. <laughs> Dang! <laughs> wow! I just kind of felt left out. Like I was like, wow! I like, just nah, it really wasn't. It's like that's, that wasn't much. It wasn't much. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, there's people. I think everybody we have on the podcast so far has done something like. Totally crazy or out there, mm-hmm. you know. They they got an internship with somebody because they read an article and then yeah. sat at their office until they would take a meeting with them or do something. I'm like, damn. I know. Leonard, <laughs> Leonard jumped over the wall of song. He wore a yeah, security. He got outfit. security. Outfit. That's what I'm saying. They each one of these people have done something so crazy and extreme. You're mm-hmm. like, uh. Meanwhile, uh, did not sleep in the car. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, movie. On Hollywood Boulevard. Oh, jeez. That's crazy. And showering at the uh oh, athletic she's showering club. at a gym, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I gym. forgot about that. Bally's, was it? I Bally. think so. It's so crazy. Is that crazy? She had a membership at Bally's. I hope it's Almost that. I hope, okay. Just no, like, but I, you know what, though? You, I mean, what is it? Membership's like $39 a month. Mm-hmm. Technically, I guess, if you have $39, you can always go and shower, right? That's true. It's air conditioning there. They got TVs in the locker room. Right. Well, you know go in there and hide out and chill during the course of the day. If you got to leave when it's time to go to sleep. 
And that's right, and it's not per day. That is for the whole month right. that you right. pay. So yeah. you, that's for a deal. For a whole month, you got a place to go. Just, you know. Free water. And slept yeah. in the car. <laughs> said free water. She slept in the car until her friend said, I'm going to tell your mama. <laughs> That's you right. Mama. Some guy said he's going to tell on her. He's going to tell his mom. I'm going to tell your mama. You sleeping in your car. But you do that. <laughs> Ain't that something? Like, I think it's always like, look, you can, you can call the cops on me. But please don't tell my don't mama. Don't tell my mama. Please don't I know. Tell my right, right. You tell my mama. Okay, fine. All right. I'll, I'll straighten up. You would just straighten up and say, please don't tell my parents. Oh, my God. I was all right till then. Oh, my God. <laughs> all right, so anyway. Uh, Kevin. Yes. <laughs> I swear to God. In my notes, I have the voice. <laughs> the voice. That is Kevin Grievous. That's it. It's like it is you don't forget that. Kevin's voice is unreal. I, I can say Speaking that. as this person with a raspy voice, that voice is like, yo. Yeah. yeah, he, he, yeah. He, he, I don't care how unique your voice is. It's forgettable when it's you. <laughs> ah, that's totally so forgettable. When you're next to him. I, was, I told you I hadn't seen Kevin Grievous since Howard. And then I'm in a comic book store and I say, Hello. <laughs> <laughs> He's not to me, but he's saying to somebody else. Right. I'm like, I know that voice. I is only one person who sounds yeah. like that. Yeah. It's like Kevin Greaves. Yeah. I was like, oh my god. I said, what's up, man? It's not crazy. He can't. He can't ever do a prank call, phone call. Like Hell he can't. No. <laughs> I'm just saying he can't. Hell you no. know he is. He's just. He is. He's, he cannot. And I, I mean, right, that's, right. again, because of my voice. If I had somebody. I could be talking in the supermarket one aisle and somebody be like, is that Kelly? Like, knowing I'm one aisle over, they ain't even got to see me, just heard my voice. That's so yeah. funny. Kevin ain't getting away with nothing. Nothing. Is it? I, don't, I, don't ever try to kill nobody, Kevin. Don't do nothing. Kevin is not. Because you speak, they be like, yeah, that's be, the guy. Ain't no lineup. Be, <laughs> you can just make him speak. He will not be anybody's mole, anybody's <laughs> super agent. He's super agent. There's nothing you just like, you know. And that, then the size of him. <laughs> um, I was going to say, Kevin... Kevin and Leonard. Actually, a couple people, even like people from before. Kevin and Leonard both worked with a new Spike Lee. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So that was like Spike Lee was a big influence for them getting started or getting Leonard, out there. Leonard was worked steadily with him. Uh, he was just influenced. He was influenced to Kevin. Right, also. right. But then like he they met him. Met. He met him. Yeah, they did meet and him. they were in contact. Right. Yeah. And then, um, but then like Brandon and some like other people I know said they went to college because of. Either school days right, right, right. or a different world. We're like yeah. the two biggest things Spike that people seem me. to decide to go to college. So I'm always shocked at that. Why does it shock you? I don't. I just was like, my well, it was in my because your life, parents so, went to college. So I was like, my parents went to yeah. college, and it's just like my my, my dad went. To, if you're in the world and you had no so nobody I knew before HBCU, you, and it's like. But if you didn't, if somebody, yeah, you, and you, you know. saw this movie, you'd be like, "Oh, there's a whole nother world out there for right. me." Oh, going back to school days and going back to Carla then when she said the AKA saw that she was too dark. I didn't yeah. I always thought that, crazy. that shit was a rumor. I always heard AKA is gonna be light skin, Dell's gonna be dark skin. But I here's the thing, and I've never actually seen that played out. And then she said, "There they were dark skin AKA. There were dark skin. There were dark skin AKAs. But I think there were at Howard. At so, Howard, there was so one. I, that I was like, like shocked. Yeah, there was one. You're calling Carla a liar? No, <laughs> I'm saying it was, was clear was, she ain't one Carla pledging. I think they yeah, maybe said they didn't want. And they just said it that way. But they're, they're dark there were some. D- there were some chocolate ones. Not a lot. Right. <laughs> like, have a line, definitely darker than Carla. Now, when you have a lot, it's not. It's like. Uh, it's not a lot, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. Had them. I know. But you I'm got a shocked. line of fifty. There was like one or two. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, so Spike Lee being such an influence. Oh, definitely. Over so many people, in terms of making them want to become filmmakers, in terms of one that like, people wanted to go to college or she pledge of attorney or sorority, like yeah. all that stuff came out of school days, or like I said, or different world. I, I've heard stories about him, but in general, it kind of say. He's influenced, Absolutely. I think, of the modern generation. Yeah. I mean, when he put that... I like movie, how you just slipped that Well, in the first one was She's Gotta him. Have It, wasn't <laughs> but it? But you heard stories about him. I know. Uh, <laughs> I mean, well, you know. I mean, moving on. Yeah, moving on. <laughs> so, yeah. but, but with Kevin, the other funny part was... The big words. I was just about to say, I felt like I needed a thesaurus. <laughs> a if I could use that word. Kelly's I was like, like yeah, you can use it, but like, you ain't define it yet. <laughs> Rod knew everything he was saying. I know. Stop. Rod was throwing just him just back. Just stop. <laughs> I like, say, super Cali, Rod, psychological dissonance or some word, he was, <laughs> some term he had used. I was like, what? He is just a, I just, 
marvel at the fact he would have been the largest research scientist. <laughs> right? Yeah, he was a microbiology he major. Had, he major. major. I mean, I told you, like I said, like I told him in the podcast. I saw him at Howard. First time I saw him was in the football locker room, and I told somebody. Who in the hell is that? <laughs> right. He's he's lifting weights with a tatted shirt on. His body is br- it's like something out of a goddamn. It wasn't comic even book. a sport. He's coming. And he's not, I was like, oh, he's not on the team. <sighs> <laughs> Thank God. Jesus Christ. Uh, that voice and the size, mm-hmm. you recognize him. Yeah. Um, his his people don't always know his name now. Right. You say his name, they go who? When you show them the picture, they go, oh yeah, yeah, I know that. That dude. guy with the deep boy, voice. Yeah. So, yeah. but he's doing fucking huge shit. Yes. I mean, but I'm, I don't understand. I mean, when you watch all of the, he's, he's, he's really when you watch Oscars and all these other things, why I don't, how come he's not recognized for certain? And I don't, I mean, he created an entire franchise of, you hear about one all of the, the most Marvel. successful. He's cool. He's cool. It, it, he created it, but. One of the most successful franchises it was for Screen Gems. At first. It's, you know, it's kind of like that first one. It's like you can't take the hit. Just You're taking a hit for the success. Like, yeah. yeah, you ain't getting the financial payoff. I mean, I think he has financial payoff, but not like, you know, George Lucas or right. Spielberg. Is I'm just saying, though. Like, I know. When, oh, when, I I was, when I was working at Sony in their publicity department for Screen Gems, and we were promoting that film, and I found out about him being one of the writers, I tried to push them to get him, like, in the junkets and things of that nature, and it was... They were just like, no. I'm like, he fucking created it. What are you talking yeah. about? See, writers get no love. Yeah. Well, <laughs> black folk either. It so. depends on who. I'm going to say he's, it. He's in it. And that is good you try to push him. I think that's No, good. absolutely. Because, Especially yeah, he deserves it. When I found out he was from Howard, too, I was like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, oh, I was, look, when somebody told me, I was like, wait. And a black great? in sci-fi. Yeah, definitely. I mean, there are a lot and, of people. You can't help but, like, I've talked to Kevin about it. It's like, you can't help but wonder, like, all of us. Because we go to comic book stores, and I think he's a heavier comic book head than me. I would say, probably. But he's a little. Did you create little. an Avenger? No, 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 <laughs> he, 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 yeah, he created. But I mean, we would like to do opportunities at things like that. Like, now nah, that Rogue One story, that Star Wars thing. That doesn't. Why can't a, a person of color? And I'm not just saying right. a black person, but right. a person of color. It's just a totally different perspective. When that person brings their experiences mm-hmm. to, mm-hmm. it just makes everything that much more fuller and different right. and not as limited. And Kevin, I mean, for Kevin, I can't believe that people who aren't, people who are open-minded can't enjoy sitting there saying, with his whole Blue Marble thing. Right. I mean, this is a character where he had that John F. Kennedy told him, say, look, <laughs> I can't have black people flying in the street. I'm gonna need I you really stand want down. I really want this civil rights thing to work out, but I can't have black people just flying in there. Can you retire? <laughs> I think that is the funniest thing ever. If that ever if they ever get to a blue marble movie, that is gonna be the funniest scene ever to me. Look, man. <laughs> and they got I, some sand. I like but... you saving white people and cats out of trees, but it's you're scaring them. I mean, they can't have them. <laughs> Imagine Kennedy talking to somebody that looked like Kevin. <laughs> but I want as I'm saying I want him to get to that level because right now yeah. there is another superhero movie out like every six months and oh God, yeah. mm-hmm. I mean all the Avengers and right we got the know, Black Panther Captain America and, well Black Panther yeah Panther's coming, coming out, out right? it just had um, um, well I was really happy but now he's and we had up. Spawn yeah Michael was, John White right a while ago that yeah was, that, was that was a long before, time ago they, with, being that CGI has like technology has Advanced mm-hmm. now. I'm mm-hmm. surprised they're not trying to remake that. Look, look we didn't had 25 Spider Man's in the 10 years. That's what I'm saying. I Bat- and Batman. I think you get Batman. Think Batman, you, Batman you forever. Get, Batman returns. The, Batman. The Batman. Batman That's again. Right. <laughs> and that's what I'm saying. So Kevin's franchise. I'm like, when when does he get his shot to like? He should he should get a shot at something like a Spawn that we know. You know what I mean? Yeah. And something like that. Uh, right. But you kind of. I mean, Rick Famuyiwa who did Dope and The Wood. He mm-hmm. and Brown Sugar. He was directing the Flash feature, but he just stepped down. I think they had creative differences. Stepping down for creative differences. It's always creative differences. <laughs> they, 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 they I like how they stepped down. They had creative mm-hmm. differences. Nobody said somebody pulled out scissors in the middle of the meeting. That, <laughs> that's what it was. They had creative differences. Okay. All right. So after Kevin, we have Leonard Thomas. 
Actor. Leonard Thomas. Yeah, uh, what's his name? Big Brother General Patton? Yes. yes. Big Brother General Patton in the Spike Lee movies. And Samuel Jackson stand in for like. Everything. Uh, yeah, so him and, him and Samuel Jackson. And they've been boys for yeah. a minute. Good mm-hmm. stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they were in Mo Better Blues beating Giants ass in Mo Better Blues. Uh, he was in Drop Squad. Yeah. Leonard, Leonard reminded me. He reminded me, no, because he, but he reminded me of myself, but in the, he's an actor, and then in being a writer, but just some of the stuff he was saying is like, you hear about all these gigs, and you're like, okay, why didn't I get a call for that, right? And, right, like, right. and he said he's been doing this for a while, um, he's good at it, he's been in the game a long time, a done long a lot of time. stuff. And you see him, you know, um, He's talented, and it's just one of those things. He said he didn't, why didn't he get an audition for Roots? That's what he's saying, like, right. Mm-hmm. You know, just an audition. Like, why Why am I not getting these parts? Even if you didn't get the part, just give me the audition, though. And whatever oh, yeah. happens after that, it I still happens. About but it. I should be a, allowed yeah. to, you know. There's a hundred black folks the temp- running around in that film. Live. Why wasn't I invited to the, to the table? It's all about your 10 percenter. It's all about your agent. Can you get me in? Can exactly. You, can you, can't, you can't get me in there. Really? Do you know anyone? You can't get roots. Really? I know. For real, though? For real. It's true. I didn't ask you to get me in a movie about the Russian Revolution. I asked you to get me in a movie about right, slavery. Right, right. I can't get a run at anything. Right. That's what I'm saying. And that and that's that's how I have felt in a couple little situations. And I'm like, I can't I can't get in there. I can't get there. I know. I, y'all don't tell me about that. Right. <laughs> yeah. Agents, yeah, okay, whatever. Your agents don't listen to this podcast, right? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. Which actually is a little bit messed up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Oh my God! My, I mean, I mean, it's the truth. My former agents, like uh, when Bernie Mac, everybody said, "Man, you, this sounds like a show you need to be on, Rod." Everybody told me that. What? Wow. What? Bernie Mac has a show. It's about a guy with his kids. This, that, and the other. I said, "I'm a black man. I got kids. <laughs> I'm working in entertainment. I'm raising." I might have like, been able to contribute. I might have been able to contribute it. But they honestly gave me the um, pilot to Bernie Mac. Let me watch it, and they said, "What do you think?" I said, "I love it. Get me in." Get me out. And I was still at For Your Love. And I said, just, I mean, I say I love For Your Love, but I was like, get me in here because I knew this voice. I said, yeah. get me in there. I can and see then, you doing Bernie Mac. And then a week later, you know, Rob, we don't think Bernie Mac's going to make it. They said they don't think the show's going to make it? Yeah, they didn't think the show's going to oh, make it. So there's no need to send you wow. over because the show's not going to last anyway. The, show, the show's not going to make it. Not going to even yeah. make it to air. Uh, wow. So there's no need for you to go over there. I just remember sitting in there. I said, the show ain't going to make it, huh? Uh-huh. Every time I go in the office, you know that Bernie Mac show? <laughs> Did I just ask you just to give me a meeting? Just give me a meeting and nothing right. else? Wow. You know that show made it, right? Yeah, that's so crazy. Just let you know. Oh. <laughs> anyway. But that's why they make 10% and not 90%. Because they don't know what the <laughs> fuck they doing. <laughs> yeah, and you, yeah, I don't, yeah, whatever. I mean, we can go for forever, forever yes. about that. Uh, Leonard and his uh, tights and uh, He's playing the first football. athlete. Oh, that's <laughs> He's the first athlete to ever be. He said, or at least yeah, that's what he says. Yeah. If not, it's a great story. If, and, I don't know if it's true it. or not. I just want to picture him and tights running across from the fine arts no. building to the football field. And he says something about doing pirouettes on the field. <laughs> I was like, okay, I just want to see bold. that. I just want to see that. Yeah, I. The guy in the leotard on the football field. <laughs> that was a bit. I'll say that that was a bit much. I was like, you did that with Floyd Keith. That's a crazy man. That was a crazy man, but. Uh, <laughs> Because Coach Keith, I didn't know of him, but the stories I heard of him are just notorious. I was like, you, so you did that? I said, yeah. But, you know, the school of fine arts is real close to the field, so it's not a long run. I'm, hey, I'm just <laughs> it's saying, not, though. It's I'm not a long saying. run. You can sneak behind things and get to That was definitely the, groundbreaking. <sighs> he said he was the first. The first, so it was different. You know what I mean? Um, well, I, I, him and Carl and him, I, I, I feel for him. Like, I want them to, like... Not just because they went to Howard near Bison, but you know they're out there work, working, they're hustling, they're not sitting on their hands, right. they're doing yeah. the work. Right. Yeah. And they've been doing it for a while. You just want them to, again, just get on that one show and get right. that, that role. becomes a hit. Someone who's putting and you, then you, you want people who can put that work in as that, like, they respect The dude you. on Atlanta you were just talking about, you said his name, what's his name, Daryl? Daryl? His name is Darius. On the show. It's but he was in Selma. Oh, he was. Right, see? And so he's a great actor, and you wouldn't really know he's in some, but in this role, when you get on a show that's a hit, it just, now all of a sudden right. we know who he who is. is. Right. But he, yeah. You he, see other things like, oh, that's. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Then you go back and recognize later, like, oh, that's exactly. that dude in here. Exactly. Yeah. But it's the show. If they can just get on one show, that's, that's a hit. That's all it takes. Yeah. One show. I mean, 
I remember seeing, but she was just a she was a reporter. Wendy Davis. Yes. Yes. Yeah, she, she was, was on, a reporter on scandal. She was a reporter. But she was in Army Wives too. Well, I knew, yeah, Army Wives. I knew that was her main. That was her thing right, right. there. Army Wives. I, was like, I remember seeing her in in Crampton Auditorium or in the Fine Arts Building. She did a, I think it was a streetcar named Desire, and mm-hmm. I was like, she is so good. <laughs> I think Wendy. Might have been the same time as Wendy Raquel Robinson, and mm-hmm. they were, but they were all there mm-hmm. doing theater around the same time. I think Raquel I Robinson think so. was before Wendy. Wendy so Davis? Wendy Wendy mm-hmm. Davis graduated like after, but but Wendy were... Wendy Robinson was there when we were there, Kelly. Yes, that's what she she was like. I was there. I was like, oh, <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> and Wendy Davis was there. Wendy sure. gonna get on the show, damn it. Both Wendy's. Uh, don't yell at them. Oh, that's oh. right. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, they said they're coming. I take that back. I take okay. that back. I'm Stay like, tuned. They, they're coming. Okay. <laughs> we just got scheduling conflicts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. All right. But yeah, but he was a hustler. Leonard. Leonard. Okay. Leonard yeah, he Thomas. said he sold, he, what, he sold steps to fraternities? Oh, like, yeah. Like he, said, he created oh, yeah. the steps he's for like, school He's days. like, a, a, something like, yeah. But that's, that's always funny to me, too. Like, he said that he's in... The audition, he's saying thing, and Spike is like, oh. Spike writing down his notes. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I like, I mean, his whole relationship with the Morehouse, man, um, it happens. Uh, but dry, sometimes you fall in the wrong crowd. You it's know, okay, you, you, you hang in the wrong crowd sometimes. It happens, you know. I mean, Bloods and Crips get along at times, you know. <laughs> Uh, like, he just equate Morehouse and Howard with the Bloods <laughs> and the Crips. You know, that's the best I got at this moment. I don't know. I could say Stealing Cowboy <laughs> fans. I don't know. Ste- Cowboys and Redskins fans. Uh, you know, that's what I got. Wow, but this is such a dangerous cats and dogs, episode. Cats and dogs. What a, wait, this is Cowboys and Steelers. Cowboys cats and Redskins. And dogs. I don't know. I mean, um, you know. The it's just kind of not. The point I'm making is it's not natural. <laughs> it's not natural. <laughs> it's not natural. <laughs> Leonard Leonard has we had we, post, we posted comments. Leonard's podcast really and there was more reposts and retweets and likes before we and, even able to announce it right and I was like what the fuck yeah. people were commenting yeah. saying he's such an awesome guy yep. he's this he's that like wherever I was like oh shit like wow yeah so Leonard got people Leonard got people <laughs> got a following so I was like all right fine so yeah. yeah. Leonard, Leonard also be very so good. So Leonard was not one of the more popular. Whenever we do the Bison movie, he, he obviously would be a good guy to make sure it's in there. He's going to get an invite. He's going to get an invite. He, he got people. He got people. <laughs> We're going to sidestep his, his, his agents, though, because obviously they're not doing anything. Yeah, they can be like, oh, uh, we didn't know you'd be interested in the Bison Project. <laughs> I know, <right? laughs> We didn't think that at all. All right, Marcus Miles. First of all, he's my, my hero because he's been in several Super Bowls. And that's all I needed to know. <laughs> and then you just, it was just, a wrap after that. Rap, huh? Yeah, I didn't hear nothing else he said. That's good. Nothing else said. I was so proud of you, too, because I thought we were just going to go way off on sports on that episode. No, we didn't. I no so way, because, because he does I'm more well than sports. well-rounded, Stacey. <laughs> no, if he had only done sports, it probably would have happened that way. But oh, right. he's, he's done the unsung and other stuff. Yeah, so then yeah. we, was, so, you know. I mean, he did we the Ike Turner. Him. Yeah, right, I watched that right. one too. Did you watch that one? I seen that, that one yeah. early on. I turned it on song. It was like that was first season, right? I didn't remember what season was, but I saw it. Yeah. It was good. yeah. Um, so I'm like, oh, and, and that was that just made, reminded me of the the, uh, the gangs and stuff for the oh American Gangster. Yes. And they were calling the office about airing episodes or something like <laughs> right. that. Right? Yeah. They were, yeah. That, okay, that was a bit much. Man, you, better not, <laughs> you better not be talking about us, huh? Right. Yeah. Right. Really? Didn't we interview you for this? Why are we? Why, why can't we talk about this now? <laughs> they started oh. locking the doors. Doing documentaries on gangsters. A little yeah, gangsters. Yeah. 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 yeah, I don't know. Or when he worked at the NFL I don't Network. Think I, I didn't want that bad enough. <laughs> 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 I wouldn't have wanted that one better. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, yeah. I don't know. But no, Marcus made me laugh because his demeanor, like his look, he just seemed like this real low-key. He's so laid back. Chill guy. He barely laughed on the podcast. He was really like just yeah. chill. That was it. But he's done all this like crazy ass shit, like interviewing gangsters. Right, right. It's like well, so, and, so this and is doing nothing. a documentary on Ike Turner. This and is nothing. This is nothing. All the Super Bowls and cutting stuff like right during the daggone Super yeah, Bowl. Yeah, you right? go to a Super Bowl with the lights cut out and yeah. you got to do a live show. 
Yeah. Hey, Marcus, you going to Super Bowl? Interview, yeah. interview yeah. without saying nothing. But like, he don't oh, sound like he gets around, though. He's just like, yeah. Going to this World Series? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do it. I think do I'm going to do it. I was like, all right, Marcus. What time? Very cool. uh, seventh one. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. <laughs> going to Philly. All-star game. Yeah. <laughs> I just felt like his, Wait, his, his role was. County, right? Yes, his right, role right. was. Right. Orange right. County it with the a... Howard. Everybody knew I, when I finished school, knew I was coming back to Howard, knew I was coming back home. Right, he, was like, right, he knew he was going. Right, he yeah. went, came back. Marcus came back like, wow, man. Like, yeah. It's like, and I got on ground floor the NFL Network anyway. Well, seven Super Bowls later. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. And it's not like much of a struggle. It, yeah, you know what? It's more, His most struggles when he painted those And you know what? Let me say, let me Air say, Jordan's. Marcus, it's not. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> and let me say, Marcus, this is not more, this is more reflection on my ass, wondering why my ass did not know what the hell I wanted to do when I had that damn degree. I was like, die, die, die. so yeah, so it's not, you know, like I said, Marcus, I just like what he did, man. It's like, damn, yeah, Mike Turner, yeah. KC, the Sunshine Band, Super Bowls, All Star Games. I want your life. <laughs> You're like, all right, Marcus. He did talk about the fact that. Just reminding you, me of the Air Jordan thing about the guy who just came off of the street. Oh, and got the job and then became their supervisor. Right, or and right? the stuff that they don't teach you at school. So yeah. he went back to school like, yeah, that shit don't happen like that. Yeah. Like, you know, what the teachers were saying. And yeah, stuff. people Yeah, people come above you and you don't know. Yeah, fuck. so he, he was yeah, saying theory, some really good stuff about that. When reality, like, just throws all that theory shit out the door, like, hey, right. <laughs> what, that shit you taught me in class? Right. That shit ain't Not. Real. Not. <laughs> She was so, em, em, I want to say em, emotap. Em, emotap. Tap. <laughs> Tap Coleman the God, son. <laughs> I appreciate, I appreciated his podcast on like the knowledge breakdown. I was going to say, yeah. I felt like I want to meet his kids because he, he was like that father dude, even oh, he though he's was. not, he's not older. But all of his advice was like, you know, you can tell, you can tell his father instilled some shit in him. Absolutely. Oh, and God, then he yeah. has it. Absolutely. Because he's like, he's that guy, like, if you uh, fail to plan, then you plan to fail. Like, he's that dude. Because he has, like, everything down. This is what we're going to do. We're going to go to Howard. I'm going to find myself right. a wife. Right. I'm going to give myself an education. Oh, yeah. Give yeah. me some babies. We're going to move. We're going to do that. Like, we're going to give back. Yeah, and then they're gonna get back to the community, and we're gonna take care of the kids. Like, it's like, like, dude, I felt like I felt like somebody that Shiki was talking to me. It, it, I, felt like, I felt like the guy, the old man from Arrested right, Development, right, was talking right, to right. me. Right, right, right. And I just loved it. He, it. It wasn't an accent, but you know, I just love the way he talked because he did seem like he's just sitting down on the porch listening. Yeah, right. Yeah, he's supposed to be sitting there at his at his feet, right, and, right? As he talks and gives you knowledge, and it's like, but he was. He was talking about. I mean. Everything you got to do in terms of having a plan and just getting stuff done and right. not having excuses. I mean, everything. I was like, this dude here. And again, the hustle. Because he had come here. Him and his wife had come back. And he needed a job. And he went and he talked to the one woman at that um, program. Oh, Streetlights. Yeah. The Streetlights is the PA program. And they, yeah, they train and you he for like a month. And way into that and made it successful. And then got into the director's program. So he was he had his hustle going, but he was another one that just seemed like I'm not that it was easy, but it was like right. focus. His focus. Yeah, That's yeah. All. He knew yeah. what he wanted and he got it. Like he, right. it was just, when he you went know, to what helped him out tremendously, I think, is by going to fam and decided to come to Howard. Oh, that was because I ain't got time to play. Right, right. I, I like yeah. I that feeling right there. I, I, yeah, I know that feeling. So it's like you know, it's like uh, because my little degree in architecture that has. That wasn't being used, like, hmm. <laughs> it's like, you know, I got, you know, and he, he had that, I heard that voice before. I know that voice. He's sitting there like, yeah, it's like, um, I'm sitting in the car. What do you say? I'm sitting in the car with my dad. It's like, yeah, we going up here, up 95 to get you to Howard. Mm -hmm. You need to do this. You need to do that. That. that and he I, listened and he did it. I ain't, right. got no, I ain't got no time to go to punch out. Right. I'm not going to play. <laughs> and then he had, he had gone to FAMU and then came back and met his wife, who was also from Kansas. Yeah. 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 First of all, how many of these dudes we had on here that met the and you, right? Everyone. That met your wife at Howard. Oh, that met their wife? Yeah. yeah. Like well, I met at a Luther Vandross concert, so it wasn't per se at Howard. <laughs> but she went to Howard. <laughs> yeah, okay. she did. All right, what, right, she went to Howard. That. <laughs> <laughs> at least it wasn't at the McDonald's. The black Mac. Ironically. Oh Lord. 
we after, met, after the concert, after the concert. It's not the first date, okay. but we, I had to sneak away from practice, and we met my friends down at McDonald's across from Howard's. So oh we did meet in McDonald's parking lot, if we really want to say. But it was across That's from Howard's. So, yeah. Just okay. saying. So <laughs> one of the things, he was very instructional. And Who? Oh. Tap. Uh, yeah. Anyways, because he was talking about, you know, how do you get these jobs? And he was like, you know, the, it's not a glamorous um, film is not glamorous and stuff. And he was talking about, you know, making sure that your resume is tight. And he, you know, broke down television, movies, and commercials. And yeah. he also had this really um, great thing that I can't really remember right now. But it, <laughs> he talked about it was that great. <laughs> That is really it a was great work, thing that I can't remember right now. Work, effort, and focus. Yeah. And he said, work, um, you know, how hard are you willing to work for it? Effort, how much effort are you going to put into it? And focus, how how specific are you going to be? How much time are you going to be at right. getting Doing this thing, getting, reaching so this goal. So he got a lot of... I know, but I was saying that's that's why I'm laughing because right. I said I can only I want to meet his kids because I can only imagine they just I come be home, blown away, right? They're like, Dad, I gotta see, and he's like, All right, sit down. I think we need to talk. <laughs> and then have this like, how bad do you want it? They had this whole conversation. I was right. like, Damn, his was another one. He wasn't like deny in terms of like doing whole motivational speaking, but he was saying the same stuff. Right, And right. when you were done, you're like, I ain't doing enough. I know, I ain't doing shit, man. <laughs> and in the shows that he worked he's on, working, Southland, He's working, he's helping kids, he got a foundation Scandal. with his wife. It's like, yeah. <laughs> I'm helping, I'm helping the community. That's right. what my wife and I were and giving so back. Right, right, really? right. Yeah. We got a kid, we go in there, we, you know, we found a location, and we're I'd not happy. I'd be happy to get lunch money to my daughter. And you just like, <laughs> start, you'd be like, I'm oh, a foundation? <laughs> really? Stop. I'm working I'm like, I appreciate you, man, but damn. I know. He just shed light that Over I ain't cheaper. doing shit. But I love you, though, dude. He helped our intern get a PA gig. Dominique. <laughs> Not a bison, but we like her. <laughs> Dominique has uh, done Scandal, How to Go a Murder, and The Catch. She's doing a thing. In Shondaland. He, because he is a... Right. Uh, He's a, a person, he's a person who gets back. So. He gives back. He does. She expressed an interest. He talked to her. I guess she seemed serious. He's like, all right. Gave her a shot. She did well. He Dallas her back. too. Yeah. He had to call back, though. They do well. He called him back. I was like, all right. Yes. Uh, yeah, he's on Rebel. When she worked, I think she got She him. worked on she, the pilot, yeah, which now I got picked up. So right, right. let's we'll see if she goes back when it goes in production. Dallas but, is doing his thing. Damn. Yeah. I'm proud of you, Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Brother Luke Mon Shabazz. <laughs> He's like Who? the son of none. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. The son I'm of sorry. no one or son of none. The son, son of none. no one. Yes, I forgot that. Oh man, that was a great name. Julian Petty, my attorney. Wow. Partner at Nixon Peabody LLP. <laughs> yeah, I need to talk to him because he got connects. He does. Most Julian. Definitely. Julian. Uh. Sold incense and stuff door to door and oils. He said, Julian, I don't know you. Who are you? Luke Mon Shabazz. Son of no one. He was a rapper. Really? Son of no one. She said, Kelly will be like, really? Who are you? Right? I don't know you. And then his brother lived at Howard. Yeah, that was the story of, of all His the brother ain't just stories. stay with him. He lived, lived there. in the dorms. And then got his in own the room. the yearbook. No, but he got oh, his right, own room, remember? Right. He actually moved out from Julian and That's moved and got his own room. That's the great part about How do you go get your own room? Students at Howard can't even get housing. Like, Carla didn't get housing. Carla said on her podcast she ain't have housing, right? Yep. 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 So how the hell did Julian's brother get a dorm room and wasn't enrolled? That's the great part about that. <laughs> That's the great part about the trend, transition the to yearbook. digital age and technology. <laughs> With his name. Because you could do things like that. Now you can't do that because of the technological. Can you, can you not? I'm really I'm willing to go to Howard now and find out it's how, probably many legal, a way. how many legal aliens are in Howard. There's like it's prob- <laughs> You ain't graduate look, yet? <laughs> you can't look. If we get people now, I think who from ninety nine on, I bet you we'll find them. They, they they'll, they'll get over their stories, but not like us. Not not the time right, not like right, the stories right. that we've heard. Oh my god. Like living Yeah. Like 
Karen Molina White living for a month and <laughs> like that, you know, or your your brother who is doing things, Julian's brother who's doing Asha, things. Asha and her eight homecomings. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's like, it's like you know, she was here when she was 12, like, you know what I mean, that type of thing. There's some amazing little stories. Right, like, they right. still have them, but I think now they're just different entry points. But now, the way we, oh. All right, well, back to Brother Luke. <laughs> like, like okay. He represents Biggie Small's estate. Yes. Yeah. Like that's fucking huge. That's huge. Yeah. Estelle, Childish Gambino. That must be ind- he represents and the he represents, him? he represents yes. Gambino. Oh, I didn't know about the Globe Trotters. Yeah. I remember Globe Trotters. Wow. That's fucking insane. That's pretty cool. And he's younger than all three of us. Okay. We are not well, doing I'm enough with our again. because I'm just saying. Again. I feel uh, like we ain't doing enough shit with our lives. I'm un- I think we should go, you know, and schedule a time we should just all sleep in our cars one night. <laughs> just see how it feels. Just yeah. Just and then go really back feel to, hungry. Right. Just go to go back and, to our roots. Yeah. Do over. And then make us really go out there and be like, oh, I, I I deserve better. Right. I'm gonna work harder. Oh Lord, I don't know if I'm ready for that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest with I'll you. I'll be honest, yeah. <laughs> he in his car not feeling oh, yeah, that. No, no. It's like this episode of Black and all of a sudden. He in his car and your kids are like, Daddy, what are you doing out there? Yeah, yeah, Trying to get in touch with my roots. It's like, ooh, what's wrong with you, man? <laughs> Trying to appreciate what yeah, I need appreciate, appreciate what I got. Like, <laughs> so I'm sleeping in the car so I can appreciate y'all better. Right? Yeah. <laughs> you like an hour in, you be like, yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I'm, I'm, good. Good. I'm, good. I'm good. I'm good. I am so back in touch Woo, with myself. I, feel, right I, I am so back. I good. feel. I feel all the hunger now. I'm good. Let me go back and get in bed with my wife. And then a <laughs> seagull got on top of my car. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take this shit back inside. <laughs> You know, That's what I'm saying. Accomplished. He was another one, right? He said, "I don't." We ain't asking why he was sleeping the on the couch, couch before, right. before college, but he said he was determined he wasn't going back to the couch. And so, I mean, we've all done. He Look, went to college. He's just doing a little bit more, but we've all done it. Let me tell you something. I know I had me a good. I li- look. I can say it now. I lived and living single. For about a week and a half. Wait, wait. When you worked on the show? Yeah. <laughs> wait, I'm like how you live in living single? I lived in the, in the production in the office. Set. In, the, in the PA office, I was living out of there. Nobody. You did. slept there? Hey, you know, and that's what so the computer wait. was. <laughs> so you slept there? Did you shower there? No, no, no. I had a friend. I had, um, I went by his crib. He you want know. that good of a friend. So you went shower? Wait, where'd you no, stay? He, he was cool, but he had a roommate, and I was like, uh, I just didn't. So he went his place, showered, but slept at the production Yeah, office. I would do, yeah. It was a couple of days. That's <laughs> you know that living room set? Right there. No, no. <laughs> I thought about that. Um, I, if I had known, I'm not going to lie to you, there was a set of keys, and if I had known that I had access to um the, the trailers, oh. I'd have been in there. Cause I didn't you learn to really ab- been chilling then. If I had learned that, um, especially when it's this guest star trailers where it's not like the main cast, might yeah. not nobody be using that trailer. Oh, I don't don't get it twisted. I, I'd have gone up in two I mean, I, I mean, right. I'd have gone up in a race. Craft service locked up. Why are you sleeping there? Uh, <laughs> you have access to any food? Uh, well, the- I don't know. It was a big set of keys. It's a jam. <laughs> uh, all right, so uh, yeah, back to back. I'm not gonna call him Brother Luke. So Julian, um. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was really, I'm just impressed. Again, you know, he's my lawyer, but I'm impressed that it's almost like he had a formula too. I'm like, you know, study this, go to the school, mm-hmm. meet this woman, you know, get to this level. Uh, yeah, she, went, she went to Howard too, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> had two kids. I'm going to deliver one kid. That was and, funny on that, that rapid question. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, I have seen a child delivered. What? <laughs> really? My own kid upstairs in my bathroom. Yes. Um, yeah. And then he represents some major, major people. Him and Kevin Grievous should get together. Yes. Um, he, he's got a lot of stuff he could. <laughs> That's the he could, could you represent into. the Blue Marvel? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they should. But Make Kevin, it happen, y'all. Kevin should. Have, but Kevin should have a lawyer. Well, stuff he's done. He should already have a lawyer. No, yeah, we don't know what's going on. This, All right, this Lord might not specialize in, uh, in Kevin, action figures. Kevin's smart enough; he can read his own contracts. Okay, can you stop doing the voice? <laughs> I'm just all oh, I cannot duplicate him. He's just he impressive. Said, he said, "My he makes my bitch ass voice sound like." He's like, I, I just like, sound like. A bitch. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I thought I was manly until Kevin walked in the room. <laughs> Like Kevin, Jesus Christ, man! Hey, all of a sudden, he's 
sound like Beaker from the Muppets. I do. <laughs> like, you do against him. It's like I'm, the same thing I said about Leonard. It's like, you know what? I'm secure enough to say when that motherfucker's in the room, he's like, let me step away from him because I don't look good next to this motherfucker. Right? <laughs> the panties, the panties be dropping. The panties be dropping when Leonard Thomas coming. I was like, I mean, I, you, you can see, like, I could see, yeah, hand cover. Hey, hey, come here. Come here, girl. We leave it right now. Because him. I don't him. I don't trust. Come here, girl. Come I here, trust girl. you. It's him. I don't trust over there. Hey, you alright, baby? I trust you. I trust you. Baby. I trust you. Is it? But I him. Don't trust that motherfucker right there. He look you dead in your eyes, right and you'll be like mesmerized and shit. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then, like I say, with Kevin, it's like hello. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that was our seven podcast peeps. Uh, we need seven more. We didn't talk about Nick Cannon. Oh, we're going to get Nick Cannon. Yeah, Nick Stacey Cannon got is Nick agreed. Cannon on the, Stacey, you got Nick Cannon on your... Is he really on, on the register? Radar. Yeah. He, <laughs> is he, he really here, y'all? He, he, well, you know, he's, he got some issues right now with, with his ex. Oh, don't bring that so, in. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, so... We so don't need me coming working. to the door. We're going to keep working. That's what's affecting him coming on our show? You know, his schedule and stuff, you know, he got to work out for... Look out for baby mama. Well, we don't need Mimi coming to the door with them kids. We yeah, don't. No, we we no. really don't need that disruption. Like, oh, hell no. We don't but need no, that. But no, he, he has said he's interested. Am I allowed to keep that to... part in the podcast? <laughs> I got to cut that. I don't know what y'all uh, saying right now. Yeah, I'm just going to pull out of that. My name <laughs> is Melvin. <Nick> Melvin. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that. Yes, right. we have Nick Cannon interested. We have Wendy Raquel Robinson interested. Yeah, and... Wendy Davis should be coming on board. Lance Gross. We had Lance. So we got some big, wow. some big people. Wow, Lance Gross went to Howard? I didn't even know that. What? <laughs> Gee, he, he just ran, track, he ran track for Howard. For Howard. He what? Ran track for Howard. Now that I didn't know. Really? Yeah. He's a bison. We had to get Taraji and Anthony Anderson and Laz Alonzo. <laughs> Jody don't love me no and more. <laughs> Hilarious. Baby boy. <laughs> you know, for a minute, that they used to run it on BET a whole lot. <laughs> Jody don't love me no more. She's gonna be doing hidden figures now, so. But she was, she's like, I ain't mad at it either. We, I remember her on on the show saying, I ain't mad at it because them them checks be coming in. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> You're like, yeah, BET gave me some love. The BET served its purpose. Yeah, it did. <laughs> it seems like almost everyone on both sides of the camera has worked at BET except for me. Every, are you I work at BET? I've never worked at BET. It's okay. It's all right. I know. <laughs> you said that. It's okay. That or sleeping in my car. Like, <laughs> you won't maybe I haven't you been initiated. Got, you ain't got to put it on your goal list, though. Yes. Okay. It don't yeah. have to be. You say it don't have to be it on your goal list. It ain't a bucket list. Ain't, nah, it, if you get there. Hashtag career goals? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like touching the base. Like but you're right. Like, everybody has been at BET at some point, I guess. No. Lenny wouldn't be. You ain't working at BET. No, no. Oh, see? You're not the only one. Okay. Woohoo! <laughs> this is the woohoo again. The outcast. <laughs> BT outcast. Yeah, I've gone in for meetings, but they don't call back. <laughs> they just is that don't good call. Or bad, right? just, it doesn't, it doesn't seem good at all, man. Like Brandon said the fat lady. He said the fat lady won't even call, call me back. back. They, just, they won't call back. They just don't call back. <laughs> and Brandon's working on his uh, hashtag reality high. For Netflix, I saw. Yeah, it sure that. is. So our alumni doing things, y'all. Yeah. Yes, Big he. things happening. All right. Well, Rod, take us out. We you got anything to plug? Anything you, got, you ladies got plugs? Huh? There's a little project that's due, you know, on the 10th of December. <laughs> oh, the Kelly R. Griffin project. <laughs> Get your scripts in. Your, that's something like saying shrimps. I'll say it again. Burn your the scripts. midnight oil. Get your scripts right. in. Work on your final draft into the midnight hour. Get it right. Get it in. And if you have questions for us, hit us up on the Kelly R. Griffin Bison Project fan page on Facebook. Right. Uh, or krgbisonproject.com. Using the hashtag Bison Chats. Yeah, or... No, that's the website. Or the... Yeah, or at KRG Bison Project yes. on Twitter. Yes, look for the Bison Chats Mondays <laughs> on iTunes, YouTube. Feel free to post your comments, every questions. Other every other Monday. Ooh, wow. <laughs> All right. Work with me. Every other Monday. I have to give another shout out to Eric L. Paul Jr., a.k.a. E.L.P.J. and J. Blocko, who provided the Bison Chats 
theme song. I love how his voice changes when he does the credits. Yeah, because I just don't yeah, because yeah. I don't because I've had my name messed up <laughs> in the many times through this life. Oh my Continue. god. You know what? Continue. Continue. <laughs> guess, I got, I got, I got. Who else? Who else? Who else? Shout out to Grizz Pryor, our amazing social media coordinator, Hillary Guest, our production consultant, I'm Monique Drummond, both not bison, but we really do like them. Uh, and of course, last but not least, our esteemed producer, Stacey Alfonso. That's me! And Kelly R. Griffin. Woo-hoo. Again, I am your host, Roddy Mel. You can find me at Bison Chats, host at KRGBisonProject.com. You know. Look, if you wake up, H-U. You got half a chance. See you next time on the yard.